been so many times where women say to me, it's like, oh, I told him I want a divorce, but hoping he'd come back for me, but he let me pack my bags. So sometimes they file for divorce or take it that far as a way of testing their partner. And if they're with quite a healthy partner, they'll think you mean it. So many women try to... I like when she said this. Sometimes they file for divorce or take it that far as a way of testing their partner. And if they're with quite a healthy partner, they'll think you mean it. The easiest way to lose a confident man who knows himself is to use this type of strategy. It only works with guys who aren't sure about themselves or are dependent on their spouse. Don't try it with a mature and secure guy because you are going to lose him test their men constantly. It's an evolutionary thing because here's the reality, childbirth is potentially fatal. So to put that risk onto a relationship, he better be able to endure all types of storms. Yeah. So we have to test them. So we have to <laughs> unfortunately test them. We have to test, are they going to be faithful, financially stable, have their own boundaries? Now the problem is, unfortunately for men, when we push you and you succumb to us, you automatically lose us. What we're saying when we're pushing you is really make sure you don't give in to this because if you do, then I know you're not strong enough. Oh my God, give me an example. It might be something like I push a man to say, I'm going to come home when I want. I'm going to come on girls trips. I'm going to do whatever I want. And then when you actually give in and say, okay, Essentially, she feels like she's not being protected. So she feels like nobody's governing her. You don't have a spine. You're not responsible. Or she might say, I'm talking to my ex-boyfriend and you say, I don't feel comfortable with that. She might, no, you have to, I have to, I have to. Fine, he accepts it. Essentially, she's saying that you don't wow. mind if I have an affair, bye. Essentially, what we're begging for is sometimes is the boundary. We're not looking for you to bow down. Wow. So I'm hard for men to figure man, that out. Though, right, really. right. I feel so bad so for men. Funny. It's like uh, reverse psychology all the time, unfortunately. Sensible women typically refrain from filing for divorce because they recognize how important it is to keep their place in their spouse's life. Her ability to handle problems and prioritize the family's well-being over the drawbacks of being a single parent comes from her mature nature. This helpful demeanor results from a profound understanding of the difficulties in relationships and how they affect kids. On the other hand, some contemporary women who are proud of their independence believe that men have less of an impact on their life. They frequently put their own needs and wants first, which can cause them to have less respect for their husbands. This self-centered strategy can lead to a propensity for isolation and damaged relationships. Hey babe, I'm going out. Hi. I said I'm going out. Okay, have fun. You know, I just find it funny how you all like have fun. You're not even asking me to stay. You're not asking who's coming. You're not even asking to come with me. Who you got coming over? Nobody. I'm just trying to watch the game. All right, babe. Well, I'm going to watch the game with you. Because you think you slick. Okay. You acting real funny and you moving real suspicious. So guess what? Matter of fact, I'm going to leave. All right. You all like all right and you still not asking me to stay. Matter of fact, get ready. And now I'm going to wait till you get ready. Because you think I'm really dumb. You think I'm stupid. And you over here acting real casual. As a married man, it's always going to be like, I can never leave my wife because she has helped me to be Please the man I am. Please leave me. Leave me. No, leave but I want me. you. I love you. I, I want you care. as my girlfriend. You're I will take care of you. You're I'm embarrassing. I'm going to pay for your tuition I fees. don't care. After I gave him the ultimatum, he just looked at me in my face and was like, if you feel like you need to move, move. And so we went through three months of like chicken where I had no friends in Vegas, no family in Vegas. I just really blurted that out. I did not mean it. I had no intention, I had no job, I had nothing. I had no plans on moving to Vegas. I thought I was gonna force this man to propose to me. But who told you it's a good idea to put a mature man against the wall? Why would you want to go this far to get him to marry you? Even if you went on with it, would it be worth it? This is the worst strategy to get a man to marry you. It will never work with a man who knows himself. For three months, he was like, do what you gotta do. You wanna move, move. So the last day I was putting my stuff in the car, he came over and helped me put my stuff in the car. And we put stuff in the trunk and I just started crying. I'm like, you really gonna let me leave? Even when males try to avoid confrontations, women frequently find excuses to dispute in a variety of settings. Men may find life challenging as a result of their propensity for conflict, feeling overburdened and anxious. 
because of the toxic atmosphere created by the ongoing disputes and tensions, men tend to avoid these difficult partnerships. Men may feel compelled to avoid women who constantly cause trouble in an attempt to preserve harmony. Their mental health may suffer from the stress of ongoing arguments and unsolved problems, which may lead them to isolate themselves in an effort to protect their own mental health. So if you guys had boyfriends uh -huh. and then your guy says, hey, babe, I'm going to go to a party. It's a house party. It's a bunch of prawn stars and they all want to have sex with me. Um, some of them have like roofies in their pockets, but like I'm going to like try to avoid it. Like your man wants to go to a party with a bunch of some cute, some not so cute <laughs> prawn stars and they all want to have sex with him. How comfortable would you feel with him going to that party? If they want to have sex with him, then obviously if he I, wants to go he wants to have sex so that's so the equivalent of when a girl's at the bar no i a lot of y'all the men are not porn stars you're at a place where everyone there would have sex with you and so, wants to and wants to yeah. and there's also dangerous creeps that are yeah, willing to like put some in your drink yeah. whatever so what would happen if your man was at a place where everyone wanted to have sex with him you would hate that but if i don't want my girl to be at a place where i know everyone wants to have sex with her I'm a bad guy who's like insecure. You a woman. They tell boys, don't hit girls back. I've been whispering in my son, here, go hit her back. <laughs> hit her, she hit you, you hit her back. And that's why you got to stay away from males. You that's got why to, you got to stay in a woman's place. You got to separate. That's why you don't live with That's why you don't live, you don't live. Uh, you quiet and don't talk back to a man. Because all the women before me that I saw gracefully, those were those kind of women. Her grace and, 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 and and, and, and her, her essence of a woman will shut his motherfucking ass up. When the essence of a real woman come around, niggas pull their pants up and say, man, don't do that in front of her. It's naturally what we've done it because her presence of a woman, a bitch won't get that response. Oh, that was a bitch. All get back and forth with a man. I would have watched my mama remove herself out of the presence of a disrespectful boy playing like he a man, wouldn't even respond to him. But a bitch got something to say back. A woman removes herself. It's certain things that a lady ain't go do. And when a lady walk into a room, men straighten up, I swear to God. I don't wanna go to your house. He's like, oh, okay, then I'm, I'm gonna drop you back home. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I, can, I cannot believe at this point in my life, I'm like, okay. So then like I had something, okay, at 10 p.m. So then I told him like, oh, can you at least drop me where I'm going? Like, so then I will stay there. He's like, I'm not gonna drive all the way there. <laughs> you know what I told him via text? I told him like, look, the last thing you will hear from me is that you deserve the, the people that you're with. Like you deserve the woman that you're with because we're talking about a man that he he doesn't know what it's like to do effort for women he's like let's go buy a pack of donuts and we will go to my house why for what why would i go to your house even if it's not the first time i see you why would i do that guys can you imagine the shock so he dropped me back home okay and i'm like okay thank you for the tour you mind if I take my Amex off? Look, check this out. I'm gonna take my Amex off for a couple of years because I've been thinking since I've been sitting here eating on this that you might be right. We might do need to get in a relationship because um, real talk, I've been hungry lately and these women I've been dealing with, they, you know, and, um, this is the taste I've been looking for. So, uh, you want to get married tomorrow? We, you want to get married tomorrow? Because yeah, that look like that was finna happen. I don't want to be single no more. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go and get married tomorrow. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring my little TV and my little VCR that I got, my four pair of boxes that I got at the uh, crib with mom and bring them on over here with you because look like this is my home. Look like I got a phone to have home. And that concludes today's discussion on Megtow Voice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video.